All right, let's get some insights on the news that's shaping the market. And for that, we want to welcome in Peter Tuckman, senior equity floor trader, Trade Moss, also known as the Einstein of Wall Street. <laughs> Peter, you know I always love chatting with always you, whether it's, it's on been too or long. off air. Yes. So talk to us this big picture about today's market and the reaction. We had this new PCE data. The market's been waiting all week for that. Yeah. Take us through the reaction. You know, we kind of feel, look, we came in, the, the, the numbers came out as expected. Mm -hmm. And look, markets are really wrapped up in expectations, right? We saw that CPI and PPI number that came out a week ago, and that, that did not support the expectations, right? We were looking for it to, to break 3%, and it right. came in at 3.1. As small as that tenth of percent was, the expectations around seeing a two in front of that number made the market sell off huge that day. If you'll remember, at one point, we were almost down a thousand points and the S&P was down over a hundred. We did see by the end of the day when markets do that in reaction to economic data, if we close the day on the low, we usually gap down the right. next day and there's a follow through on the sell side. That did not happen on that day. What ended up happening was in the last five minutes of trading, the market turned around and rallied back 30 handles on the S&P 500 and those days following it were more positive than negative. So this number, it feels like a muted response. Yeah. We did open up 20 handles. Yep. Um, you know, I, I don't know what the market was really, what the market was looking right. for. Did they figure they're either going to blow them out of the water or they were going to disappoint? The market, it felt to me like the market was waiting for disappointment because the last two economic bits of data were disappointing, were disappointing. Yeah. and that the they were going to sell it. There's a big short position on, I think, you know, in the market. There's a lot of sentiment that we are, we've come too far, too fast, too high, and that the market is due for a pullback. We're not Pull seeing back it. to this level. You brought yeah. your hat. We've I brought got my the hat. We've got the S&P 5000. Hat. Yes. I'm, I'm the guy with the hats. Everybody yes. knows me for that. Obviously, we are not pulling out any Dow 40,000 hats yet because no. we don't want to put the Kavorka on the market. <laughs> but we have closed above 5,000 the S&P. That mm. is a milestone. It is a landmark. It is significant. That is a big number. It's never been hit before. And basically, we got to 5,000. We've been trading above it significantly. So look, is that a function of just the, the Magnificent Seven? Is there more breath to the rally? The Russell has seen a nice rally recently, which shows that there's breath to the rally. Um, you know, look, the market is sort of treading water right here. Is there any indicator or trend that you're looking for or investors should be paying attention to? You know what? No, I, I think right now it's sort of hurry up and wait. I think we, we've had an extraordinary 2024. Think about it. Today's the last day of the month. We are eight weeks into the into the into this year and we have had a major bullish rally mm -hmm. right and so where do we go from here what is the next thing to be the catalyst to take the market up or down let me flip that back to you okay. that's literally what was in my head what is the next thing what's in march that's going to be the catalyst look I, you know what everybody thought that today's number was going to be the catalyst and it's a muted response we opened up we're trading down it's kind of muted it's quiet um you know there there will be a lot of activity let's note today is the end of the month that's significant we have an msci global rebalance today you're going to see major volume on the close that is a big rebalance for us. It's kind of one of the Super Bowl days of the year when the MSCI is rebalanced. There are a couple of other names that have some big movement, a couple of M uh, mergers that are that are closing today as well. Uh, Peak and Doc and a number of other names. Um, I don't know what the future really brings at this point. We're sort of at that precipice right. where we're either going, this will be a base and we're going to forge a lot higher. What is it good that's going to take us there? Or are we going to fulfill that prophecy that so many of these doomsdayers have been saying for a while? I know. And I would imagine they're in a bit of pain that this market is due for a sell off and, and, and we're not seeing it, right? Uh, it's possible. Any, any small thing can make that happen. I just don't know what that catalyst is. So when you think about then the potential for volatility, especially like say on a day like this, especially right. the end of the day, how should investors kind of prepare for that? Look, at the end of a look, what's good about the end of each month is that we do have the beginning. It is followed by the beginning of a new month. Often that is a new influx of money into the market. We will often see in the first 
first few days of a month, people are putting money right. into the market. Look, there's so many different tranches of people who have been sitting on the sidelines waiting for the market to come in. It's not coming in. And eventually they just kind of just throw in the towel and say, OK, I'm going to buy the buy, market. Yeah. Right. I mean, if you've been waiting for a sell off, you, you know, you, get it, you really. saw once one in July, you know, you were waiting anxiously for one in October, November. That didn't happen. You figure maybe there'll be profit taking at the end of the year. That didn't happen. Maybe in the beginning of the year that didn't happen either. So I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know is a legitimate answer <laughs> when you're discussing a market that's, that's, that's trading fair. so frothy and so high. I, I, I'm, I'm okay with saying I'm not sure. I don't know. Even from Einstein. Yeah. Peter Tuckman. You know, look, I know I look like him. I'm not that smart. <laughs> Thank you, Peter Tuckman. Always a pleasure. Uh, always fantastic to have you. That was Peter Tuckman, uh, senior equity trader, Trade Moss. Uh, thank you, Peter.